Amy Gibson and Kathleen Leonard. You know, this is a very popular wig. Everybody's talking about the 360 wig, right? Yes. So I thought it was good to cover it really quickly. Um, this is an all lace piece, yes. right? So this is 100% lace. So if we even put her on, tell me what, in your opinion as a stylist, what makes a 360 white? Everybody is all over a 360 wig. Well, with a 360 wig, you can literally put her up in a bun. Or you can literally just do two braids here and the whole front edge will lay down flat even at the nape of the neck and it looks like it's coming from your scalp. But you're still cutting off the lace. Yes. Okay, so you're still cutting off the lace, but it's just yes. that because it's so see-through, right? You can actually part it and you won't see tracks. Yeah, but here's the only thing that I find is challenging with a 360 wig, with any lace wig, is it's fragile. Mm -hmm. So I don't think they're gonna last as long. Now this, this doesn't seem to be as fragile as some of the lace ones I have, I have felt. So what would you think the shelf life is for this wig? A couple years or? I would say about a year and a half to two years easily if you take care of it. it, can, it you can destroy it within a year, but you, can't, you have to take care of your wigs. Yeah. Just don't throw them to the side. She's amazing. So all lace. So the entire thing is lace. And there are other all lace pieces, but I don't know, someone coined this as the 360 because it's all the way around. It's amazing. Yes. It's a cool design. I'm sorry I didn't come up with it, but it is a cool design. Here's the only drawback, as I said, is that it has a limited shelf life. That's it. Other than that, it's super comfortable. It's super breathable, right? And we didn't cover it in our other wigs, so I wanted to quickly tell you about the 360. I find the 360 comes in like the 22 size. I don't think they come in small. I haven't seen them come in small. Most of the ones I've seen are on the larger size. Yeah, you'd have to get a custom piece to actually have a smaller one because the standard size is with like a 22 to 23. Yeah. In the back, you have the straps to tighten it up. Right. But literally, like, this is why you wear a 360, so that you can be able to pull it up. And once you have it taped down, you pull it up, and you can look like it's your hair. So with the 360, would you suggest doing that with glue? With, with your glue bond or with just the regular glue? We did a whole video about gluing and bonding, so you can watch that. But is this something that you would suggest for glue and bonding or just tape? I would actually suggest with when it comes to the glue, or the got to be glue gel right. with the hairspray so that it actually will tack down. The tape will hit and miss unless you tape all the edges around. Which you can only do, remember, with a scalp that doesn't have hair where yes. you are taping or where you're gluing because we don't want to rip the hair out. Yes, right? if you have no hair, you can use the tape. I think it's time we develop a new 360 wig. That's what I think. Anyway, enjoy the 360. Let us know what you think. You can write us at hello at wigscape.com. Um, I think this went okay, right? Yes. But this is very thick, right? I mean, you're gonna still thin this puppy out, aren't you? Not for African-American women. We like the more the density, the more we like the wig. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll catch you next time, <laughs> bye. <laughs>